Hi, my name is Tyler, and today we're at Wang Fujin Snack Street. This is one of the famous culinary destinations here in Beijing. Today we're going to be talking to some of the people here visiting, as well as the people who work here. And I think I'm going to try some pretty weird stuff. So let's take a look inside. That's so crazy. I wonder how they do that. Like a part of me wants to feel bad that they're still wiggling, but then again, it's a scorpion. Boy, are you for she is it? Okay, sir. All right, thank you. Not sure. Yeah, get one, bro. And there's babies inside. All right, not bad. Not bad. So, chicken shirt Bushan, right? Right now they're not dead, right? Okay, cool. Cool. Oh no, 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 cool. Tai Bangla. Thank you. Ah, where you got loose with her? Thanks, bro. Whoa. Let's give it a try. Hey, hi, 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 hi. <laughs> I'm really excited. So now I get to try some Yoja Bingjir Lee, which is just fried ice cream. One of my favorite foods back in the States. Yeah. Eat for Yoja Bingjir Lee. It doesn't really taste like anything but air, and then a little bit of ice cream in the middle. <laughs> eh. Eh. I didn't think the food was especially good, and is extremely expensive, so I turned to my fellow visitors to see what their thoughts were. Hello. Oh, hello. Uh, we have a question. So, uh, I... Uh, you like uh, the Taiwan, how do you say, Taiwan Pabao Cha? How do you like it? Oh, you like it? Really? Why do you like it? Because it's too bad. I don't know. Why do you like it? Why do you like it? Yeah. It's too bad. I forgot. Okay. 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 And uh, so today, you want to eat, well, what do you like? 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 Okay. Okay. Mm. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, uh, uh, so, uh, uh, so, 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 uh, the travelers didn't seem enamored with the food either. But for them, the unique atmosphere of Wang Fujin was enough to pull them in. But what about the workers? They come here day after day to spear scorpions onto sticks and dish out drinks to sweaty tourists. Had the magic of this place worn off for them? One of the drink sellers was nice enough to talk with us. Wang Fujing was a lot more interesting than I thought it would be, but not because of the food. But instead, it was because of all of the other things that went along with it. Sure, on one hand, it builds itself as this ancient culinary place where you have to go, but then you get there and the food isn't really all that authentic or even all that tasty. 
What I thought was most interesting was the people. People don't go to Wangfu Jing to eat. People go to be there, to experience the crowds and experience the chaos of having this huge mass of people in this very, 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 very famous place. But it was also interesting talking to the people who work there, who make it their living, who thrive on this chaos and the friendships that they form while doing it. So, I don't know. In general, today was a good day. Not because of the food, but because of this amazing experience that we had.